Hi there. So in this video, I wanted to talk about how I decide on the structure for my course videos. And essentially, I think about those as being aligned with each of the course's intended learning outcomes. So I'll explain how that looks like um, as we go. So when we get into these slides, I start out by giving the students a general overview of the overarching learning outcomes for a given section. And as much as I can, I tie that into something uh, very practical for them that I try to thread through um, a given section. When we get into the, the finer grain learning outcomes themselves, the video essentially walks the students through the key concepts they need to know with respect to each of those intended learning outcomes. And that works well about that too, is that if a video does start to get too long, each of those learning outcomes provides a, a natural break point for the video. So I can decide where a given video can end and the next one can pick up. In this slide that you see, I've given the intended learning outcome uh, at the top as the title can then annotate this slide down below. The other thing though is a footnote as each of these sections continues is that I try to keep, continue to indicate which intended learning outcome we're talking about so that the students can keep in mind what this relates to and that helps them go back, do questions aligned with it, etc. Then once the videos have been created, I can create quiz questions that are aligned with each of these intended learning outcomes. And they can go right in order uh, if I want to, to just match right up with what the students have seen. Or I can decide to mix it up to help them practice retrieving some of that information, practicing that information uh, from different parts and bringing information together. So it's just an idea of how I end up structuring, thinking about the structure of each of these videos. So for this particular video, I created my slides on PowerPoint posted them in Brightspace for the students, uh, then imported those PowerPoint slides uh, into Notability on my iPad so that I could annotate them. Uh, I recorded the whole thing and edited it with Camtasia using a Blue Yeti microphone and an internal camera. So as the editing was finished in Camtasia, I converted the, the file to an MP4 file, uh, uploaded that to YouTube, and then linked to it in Brightspace. So I hope that helps a little bit to think about how you might take the pedagogical part uh, of the course and match it with the video part of the course.